everyone and welcome back to <laughs> oh my gosh it's so noisy welcome back to pet world 3d and yesterday we managed to try out what it was like to work here at this animal sanctuary and now we have i hope we've gotten our feet wet because we are going to be very busy today there are more rivals there's Carrot, Toby, Bert, Leonardo, Ellie, Freddy, Dragon, Bonnie, Billy, Bunny, Snowflake, Wanda, Momo. Everyone makes some mistakes. You'll get hang, uh, the hang of it. With a bit of practice, you'll definitely improve. So we need to take very good care of the animals. And we need to see if we can adopt some out. And it looks like organization. So getting the organization nice and tidy and running well is actually one of the things we're in charge with too. So that's super interesting. Let's talk with the professor. I think I hear a bird. That is going to be really cool. We'll talk with the professor and see what we can do to help today. All right. So care for all the animals before 930 so that visitors will come to adopt them. Oh my gosh. We're like being timed. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um... All right, bunny food, bunny litter, bunny care, bunny treat. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh. Are you are you for real? Okay. And I need to come over. Well, come on. Well, I need I need. Okay. Water bucket. So we've got lots of new bunnies over here. You guys, look at all of these. There's carrot, Ellie, and bunny. So hello, carrot. I think you still need to gain some weight. Yeah, we still need to have carrot gain some weight. Uh. So let's change the bedding really quickly, and then we need to give three helpings of bunny food to carrot because you need weight and then we need to give you a little bit of water i uh, gotta get your confidence up with a little treat oh i hope this one's getting a little happier all right gotta wait for the treat and then let's see do you still have whoops no i still need to work with you carrot i think yeah we still need to um whoops oh no oh this is a diagnosis oh Oh, I see now. So we need to go ahead and send this bunny off to the vet soon. But we also need to brush it so that its coat is nicer. Oh, who's your happy carrot bun bun? Who's your happy bun bun? Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then, let's see. Gotta pet it so that its confidence gets up. Because carrot doesn't have very high confidence either. Oh, there you go. A little scratch on the belly before work begins for the day. Oh, there you go, Carrot. You've got a spot in my heart. And then, let's see. So its health needs to go way up. Its confidence, care, and activity has gone up. Its weight has gone up too much now. Now we've made it overweight. All right, and we need to go ahead. And good, the animal's going to be healthier now. So that's how we take care of its veterinary needs. That's so much easier than I thought it would be. Hello, Ellie. Well, let me go ahead and get your food or get your water and get your litter changed. So Ellie needs to gain a little bit of weight, so that's two feedings, and needs a bit more activity and definitely needs a brushing. And then let's see. The rabbit is sitting all puffed up in the corner with a round belly. What's more, there's a pretty small smell coming from the hutch. What could be wrong with it? The rabbit seems to have a kidney or bladder infection. It needs something soothing to eat, such as dandelion or nettles that usually works wonders. The smell could be caused by grass poisoning. The rabbit needs to go to the vet straight away. The rabbit has got wind. For now, it shouldn't have any grass or fresh food. If we leave it plenty of hay and a few herbs, such as peppermint or chamomile in its cage, that should help. Um, around belly. Is it, is it a bladder or kidney infection? Uh oh, not a bladder or kidney infection. Um, wind? Okay, good. So you just have some wind, little one. Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Let's go ahead and we need to do three feedings because you need to put on a little bit of weight. And can I use the rabbit brush on you? Bunny care? Okay, there you go. All right, let's get your coat looking good. Apparently you're looking really, really disheveled, little one, and you need to look awesome. Oh, it's a happy bun bun. There you go. Oh, right back there. There we go. And then got to pet you a little bit. I don't remember. And then your activity needs to go up some. Oh my gosh. I wonder. I don't know if we're going to be able to take care of everybody. I I probably need to just like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to take care of everybody. Okay. We're just doing the basics right now. The time. The time. Hello, little guy. So you need to gain a little bit of weight. I'm sorry. I will be working more with you in the future. Super duper sorry. I have like 15 minutes. Oh my goodness, see, I, I was trying to give the bunnies too much individual care. Not good. Not good. Okay, back up. Um, Let's see. Okay, guinea pig. All right, there we go. Guinea pig. All right, and then I have enough room for, I think I have enough room for hamster. Okay, there's hamster bedding. Okay, and then we got to run down here. All right, and then what's going on down here? Okay, 
Hello! Oh, that's definitely... Ah, our, oh no! Our first visitor is here. Please handle the adoption. Consider which animal would fit best with the visitor. Tap on its pin, and lastly, on process adoption. Visitors come daily from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Don't forget that you can only process adoptions for all... For all animals with all green levels. Oh my gosh, okay. Hang on, visitor. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm getting so flustered. This is this is hamster food. Or the guinea pig food. Guinea pig water. Uh, we need to gain a little bit of weight. The health is not good on you. Okay, pen size fur. Uh, good coat and brushing. Uh, gotta take it to the vet. There we go. So hopefully that'll make you better. And you need a little bit more food. Alright, how's that doing? And its health should be going up. And now its weight's too high. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna give you the super fast petting of your life. I'm so sorry, little one. I have spent too much time petting the bunnies this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna get yelled at. I need to take care of the visitor. I can't help it. You're so cute. Stop distracting me with your cuteness. Okay, visitor. Catherine, age 38. My children argue all the time. I was thinking of giving them a pet that they would have to look after together so that they will learn how to get to, uh, learn how to get on better with each other. If they can manage that, I'll let them have another one. Tap on an appropriate animal. What about carrot? Um, do you want carrot? What do you think? Um, what do you think? <laughs> you processed your first animal adoption. Now all you have to now you know all the important things that you have to do here. I'm sure you'll be a great help to us. Oh my gosh! N Hello, nice to see you. We've been renovating and some of the animals have been moved. You'll find the birds in the main building, so we'll have space for the turtles in the reptile house. N oh my gosh. Carrot, you're gone! I should have kept Carrot forever! I miss Carrot now! I will- the point is- the point is to raise them so they can go on to lead happy little lives. I know it's the truth, but I'm just gonna miss them so much. Okay, so this is another guinea pig. This is Freddy! And the animal has not yet been examined. Needs to gain some weight. Its health is low. It keeps scratching. It has some mites. Need to be taken care of. So we're gonna give it a couple three feedings to get that up. Give you a little petting. Oh, the guinea pig. The guinea pig's so happy. Carrot! I miss Carrot so much! I had no idea I was gonna get so attached to Carrot. Oh my gosh. Is that- is, oh, this one looks like Robert. Oh, it sounds like we have another guest. Okay, bye little guy. Okay, so we have another visitor. Tim, age 25. Our children have fallen in love with my brother's dog and are desperate to have one of their own, but I don't think they know- they appreciate how much work is involved in keeping a dog like that. What else, uh, do you have that they would like? Um, what about this guinea pig? He's really cute. His name's Freddy. I really highly recommend guinea pigs. Oh, he chuckled. All right, let's process this. Is it suitable? Dang it. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What else do we have? Oh, you want a noisy bird? Do you want a really noisy bird? What about Billy? Billy might be a good a good little ham taro hamster. Um, let's see. Red marks and swellings on the skin. Oh, that sounds like um fungal infection there we go so we'll get this fungal infection on the little hamster treated um and then your name is billy you need to gain some weight you need a little bit more activity how do i make a hamster more active that's a good question two uh three so you can gain a little bit of weight okay uh what do you think about the hamsters there what, what do you what about this one dang it it has to have more care oh goodness uh, what about a puppy? Oh my gosh, there's a puppy. I am not gonna make this man happy. Okay, hang on, sir. I really, okay, Toby, how you doing today? How you doing? Do you have enough? Okay, you need a little bit more food. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, I forgot to give the other guy water. This is harder than it looked. I thought this would be super duper easy. Sneezing, cold, you're gonna be taken care of. There you go. Um, gonna give you a little bit of a pet. Maybe that'll get all your your little moods up and green. I like you too, little buddy. But I guess I'm trying to find a pet for this man, Tim. Whoops. Apparently I'm petting you twice. I love him so much I have to cuddle him a lot before we adopt him out. Oh, this is so much harder than it looked. <laughs> there we go. Okay, what do you, okay, he doesn't he doesn't want a hamster, so he's not looking for a hamster either. What about a bunny? What about Ellie? Ellie, come here! Is there anything I could do to get you up? Health is, activity is, coat care, can I- Okay, let's try brushing. A suitable brush- I don't have a brush for Ellie! Oh my gosh! What about Bunny? Is Bunny- Bunny's health is bad! What? Rabbit's teeth are much too long. It almost looks like a predator. It can't eat properly anymore. So the teeth need filing from a vet. Um, there we go. 
And that's going to increase its health, but not enough. Oh, this gentleman is like never. I'm I'm so sorry, sir. You're never going to be able to get an animal from me today. I'm so sorry. Um, I know you're here to rescue an animal, no less. He's like, he's here to be good, you guys. He's here to rescue an animal from us. And what am I doing? Why can't I get rid of the hamster food? <laughs> It's cursed. Why? Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a dog now. That's a horse. Why am I trying to take care of horse things? I need puppy things. All right, I need dog food. Um, dog brush or uh, cleaning. I need dog food cleaning things. Oh, and I need to feed that poor hamster. I forgot to get Billy some water. Billy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh my goodness, this poor man. I wish I could. I wish I could assist him. Um, let's come over to a puppy. All right. Hi, buddy. Who are you? This is a dog named Bonnie. She is 36 months old. Uh, she needs to gain just a teeny bit of weight. She needs some activity, confidence. Her coat is just terrible condition. We need to take good care of her. The dog has red mark behind its ears and it keeps scratching itself there. Um, behind its ears? There we go. All right. It had, a, it had an inflammatory infection behind its ears that we'll take care of. So let's clean this up. There you go, puppy. Uh, you need to gain a little bit of food, I saw. Or a little bit of weight. And then we're gonna give you some water. There you go. And I need a brush to take care of you. Hang on, cutie patootie. I wanna see if he wants to take Bonnie. He, he's like, I don't know, a dog's too much work. But, um, did he want a, a guinea pig, actually? Did he want a guinea pig, too? Alright, why is this hamster stuff? Why would it go away? Who knows? Alright, let's see. Dog. There we go. Note to self. Take care of hamsters very last at the end of the day. All right, and there's dog toys. Well, are my, are my, what about this guinea pig? It's not, it's not in green. So I can't offer them for adoption. I'm sorry, sir, you're gonna have to come back another day. Today is definitely not the day. I can't assist you unless you want this dog. She's a beautiful dog. Her name's Bonnie. I've got to finish taking care of the animals. They they need me right now. All right, so now she's overweight. We've made her horrifically overweight by accident. <laughs> she's in treatment for an inflammation. She needs more activity, more confidence, and more coat care. So let's see, can we give her the dog toy? All right, what about... Nope, can't give her that, but we can give her some activity by letting her out in the yard. Okay, and the bunny is enjoying Does this other bunny need more activity too? I uh, Maybe, I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. Oh my goodness, you guys. Day two, Professor, I could use your help, sir. <laughs> okay, birds. I kept hearing the noisy birds need some attention, too. Um, bird stand and bird food. Bird sand and bird food. So let's see. Let's come down. Maybe he wants a bird. Oh, goodness. Hello, you guys. Somebody. Hello, Wanda, huh? Oh, she's just a brand new baby. 18 months old is just an infant for these large bird species. Um, oh, and too many of these guys. Man, don't get a large parrot if you don't intend to invest the next 40, 50, 80 years of your life in it. I mean it. Because it's just so cruel. To, they get attached for life. And then they bounce from so many houses that they become very mentally sad. So don't do that. All right. So we need to check its health. It needs to gain a little bit of weight. It needs some activity and confidence. Um, what if the bird's eyes look swollen and he rubs his head against the perch often? Um, let's go ahead and have a vet look at it to make sure it's not pink eye. So that's going to make him happy. We need some water. Where's the water go? Who knows? Uh, let's shake, clean the bird sand. And did you need to gain some food, little baby? You sure do. No underweight birdies on my watch. Where the heck does the bird food go? Does it go in the back? Oh, that's not water. What the heck am I doing? Does the water go up here? How do I feed the bird? <laughs> How do I feed the bird? Oh, there we go. There. Okay, so bird food does go back there. I take it the water is supposed to go up here? Yes. You just have to kind of go at an angle. There we go. So that's you, and I can't really do anything for your activity. Oh, the activity and confidence have gone way up. Yay! Sir, do you want... Do you want this bird? Ah, uh, not suitable. Okay, let's try again. Um, what about Bert? Come on, Bert's awesome. Bert is in treatment for lice, but Bert is like awesome. Whoops. Apparently, I'm petting Bert lots and lots today. Okay. You know what? I think we're just gonna have to make him wait. Make him wait until he can come back. Oh my gosh, the birds are so noisy. I want to adopt out all the birds so it's a little bit quieter, please. Not suitable. Fine, fine. I have no idea what this man wants. Does he want the dog? 
Do you want Bonnie? She's beautiful and adorable. What do you think, sir? Not suitable. Never mind, sir. You're gonna have to wait another day. I don't have time for this. Momo needs attention. Momo is a beautiful bird, by the way. Momo, how much? How, you need to gain some weight. Momo needs to be examined. The bird is puffed up and sitting on the perch, and some secretions are running from its noses. Um, it sounds like it has a common cold, because they do get common colds just like people. We need to take it to a vet to see what needs done, and nothing with a bird can be done lightly, because they can get sick really fast. All right, so we're gonna make sure he has a little bit of food. Give you some water. There, oh yeah, look at you. Man, if you want a pet, sir, that doesn't mean a lot of work, then you definitely don't want. Definitely don't want this one. Because birds are a ton of work. All right, let's see. We're gonna put these away. Oh, for crying out loud. Please, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, really? Okay, well, I'll have to play with that. I'm sure there's a trick to positioning it. Um, and we're gonna throw away the dirty litter. And is that all the animals? <gasps> we have a snake! We have a snake, you guys! And a turtle! We have a snake named Snowflake and a turtle! Oh my goodness! Okay, okay, snake. Maybe he wants a snake? Sir, I don't know how to help you if I can't get rid of this stuff. Oh! I got rid of the stuff. There we go, sir! <laughs> I can help you again! Uh, you know, maybe that's what he's saying. He wants an easier pet. Oh, maybe he wants like a reptile. Well, let's see what Snowflake needs. Oh, Snowflake's not a snake. Snowflake is a really big iguana. Snowflake, you're, you're a reptile, iguana reptile. And it's seven months old. Snowflake needs to be examined, needs to gain a little weight. Activity and confidence need to go up. The animal is eating normally, however, it is very thin and looks gaunt in comparison to a similar specimen. It threw up its last meal. Um, vomiting and low weight are signs of worms. Uh, in this case, only treatment from a vet will help. Don't overfeed the animal in the next few days so that it can recover from the illness. Oh, don't feed the animal. No, that's wrong. Give the animal more food. No, we're going to take it to the vet. I think the answer is always take it to a vet. All right, reptile food. Are you underweight, my dear? You are a little bit underweight. So where does your food go? Is that is that your water? Darling, where does where does your stuff go? Tell me. Tell me. It doesn't know where its stuff goes. Oh my gosh, where am I supposed to put this? In a little bowl right here? Is that where you need your stuff? Let's see. What about over here? Maybe? Oh, there we go. One pile, two pile, and then three pile. And then I guess the water doesn't come in anywhere. I don't see a little bathing spot for this guy, even though water is very important for the humidity levels for animals. So what do you think about this one? Not suitable. Fine, sir, you're just gonna have to come back another day. Oh, there's Dragon! So Dragon is here as well. Dragon needs to gain some weight. It hasn't been examined. Um, so let's go ahead. Same animal is eating normally, however, it is very thin and looks gaunt in comparison to the other one. It threw up its last mill. I'm going to guess that it has worms. So we're gonna, yeah, there we go. Don't worry, little buddy, you're gonna be okay. And we're gonna get your animal food over here, like so. There we go. Oh, there's a little computer back here. And finally, Leonardo! <gasps> wow, you almost look like a sea turtle. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. So, Turtle Leonardo. It has not been examined yet. It is 85 months old. It needs to gain a little bit of weight. Um, it needs activity and confidence. After each meal, the turmel, turtle vomits up its food again and keeps nothing down. Hmm, where's the option for taking it to the vet? It is not normal. It is, turtles do not regurgitate their food all the time. It definitely needs to go to the vet. There we go. So that's what this little guy needs. And then we need some turtle food. There we go. And then we'll clean the turtle tank. Oh yeah, look at that. And then we'll get your confidence up. Oh, is that so happy? Is that so happy? Oh, look at him. Look at the little turtle. Oh, he's so awesome. All right, and then I forgot we definitely need to go around. Oh, look at that. Oh, that makes it raise so much faster. Okay, and I forgot we definitely need to come over here and clean Dragon and Snowflake's exhibits. I totally forgot about that. There. That is more like it. That is more like it. And then finally, we can come down over here and we can go ahead and clear everything out. Oh, the birds are so noisy. Why are the birds always so noisy? Such noisy birds. Okay. 
And we're going to put away the reptile litter and the reptile food. And we're going to put away the turtle stuff. So turtle food, turtle litter. And then we're going to go ahead and put away... Did I really... Okay, no. I thought for a second, like, all the stuff I put down earlier went on the horse shelf and I was going to freak out. Okay, sir, I can't help you at all, Tim. You just need to, like, leave, please, sir. Professor? Uh, diagnosis? No, okay, fine. All right. Mmm, noisy. Why don't you take the guinea pig? He's really cute. But he's in treatment for his health issues right now. Can I raise up? Okay, what about this guinea pig? Ugh. I don't know what this man wants. So he's gonna have to wait. So we're gonna go home for the day. We can end the day by coming over here to the exit. And hopefully tomorrow we will be able to make these guys a lot happier. We will be able to work through all of the cleaning up the little, little enclosures quicker. We did adopt out Carrot. Precious little Carrot went and found a new family. And then tomorrow we also might check out what is hiding in the store and what kind of achievements we've been earning. So I will see you guys then. Sorry, Tim. We'll talk another time. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Bye.